Hey, Keaton, how are you? Scott Shirts and Stream Punk Soccer. Uh, you had a lot of rush there of games for a while, and now you've had the break. Uh, talk a little bit about both the time, you know, to relax, recharge, but also the time necessary to prepare during that two-week uh, period. Thanks. Yeah, uh, I mean, we have international breaks throughout the season, so it's just something we deal with. But um, I think we we don't mind having lots of games, lots of momentum going forward. But um, I think this late in the season, a nice break it is good for us to reset and, and recharge, like you said. And uh, now we're just ready for playoffs, excited uh, and, and ready to get going. Hopefully we can get a home advantage following this weekend. Can you uh, just compare last year, end of the year, to this year, end of the year? Uh, there was still a a chance, you know, as you were playing the last one. But now you're, you know, you're in. We know you're playing for something. Can you describe how that impacts the team? If it's positive, if you'd rather maybe have to fight more for something? No, I think it's just motivation. I think yes, last year we had a chance, but it was it was a small chance type thing, and this year we. We don't want to leave anything up to, to chance, you know, like we we're, we want to take it. We want to get this home field advantage. We want to finish top four um, and we're fighting every day. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't think we're content with where we're at um, and and I don't think we'll be content unless we win the cup this year. So that's what we're pushing for. And um, a win on Saturday is the first step toward that. How vital uh, is in your mind is it to be home for that uh, best of three series? Uh, because there, I mean, you've been a part of it. the last two years. There's been struggles on the road. I know there was that three-game streak, but and Red Bulls most recently. Yeah. But that's kind of a yeah. I mean, we we love to play at home. Uh, I think everybody knows that. Uh, our fans are great, um, and and we like to to be in New York. But um, and I think it's it's just a, it's going to be an advantage, especially with two hot teams going into it. If it ends up being us in Orlando. And um, we, we want that spot. We want to have the two games at home if it comes to that, and, um, and that's what we're fighting for. Keaton, in the game against Nashville, you guys jumped off to a 3 nothing lead in 21 minutes, and then it seemed like Nashville had the better of the play the rest of the way. From your perspective, why did that happen? Um, it, it was a busy run of games. I think we had some tired legs, and I think we laid off. And I, I think you guys know our, our style this year is a lot of high pressing and winning the ball back in, in their, uh, their defensive third. And um, as soon as we let off the gas a little bit at all, then that breaks us down, and we're not playing our style, and we're running back 60 yards. So um, I think it was a little bit of tired legs. Maybe we let off the gas a little bit with a 3-0 lead. Um, Whatever it is, we've been we've been working, we've been watching video and stuff, um, and for me, we we can't change, we can't let that happen. Even if we are up three zero, it's it's we sh we should keep going for four, go for five, and and uh, not settle and and just kill the game off. James Sands didn't play in the last game, suspended with yellow cards. What changes for you when he's not on the field? Um, it's just about building chemistry again. Uh, like, I, obviously, we train and I work with Perea and Justin, and um, but me and James have a lot of minutes together, and there's just a chemistry and an understanding of where we're going to be at all times defensively and and in the attacking um, parts of games. So um, it, it's just about building that chemistry, and 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 I think more talking is required because we don't have the chemistry uh, like James and I do. Thank you. On to the Zoom, Matt. Hey, Keaton, Matt, Mangum, Legend Over Blue. Of course, you've been a part of this team for a while and I've seen ups and downs. The team is in great form heading into decision day this year. How does that kind of compare to the 2021 season before the playoffs where, again, the team was also in good form and, you know, I'm not really expected to win my loss, but ended up happening. So what's kind of that mood now compared to that season? Thank you. Yeah, I think it's similar. Um, just thinking back on how, how everybody was feeling and, and that run of games that led into playoffs, like it, it is very similar. It has a lot of the same feelings, um, and I, we just have to keep carrying the momentum forward. Uh, playoff format is different than than twenty one, and um, and we're gonna have different opponents and stuff. So um, it's not exactly the same. It's not the same team or anything. So, um, but it, it, I mean, it's similar feeling. But we got to take this and, and treat it as a whole new thing. Chris. Hey, Keaton, Chris came from the outfield. Um, the team has scored uh, at least three goals in three straight matches for uh, the first time in a while and, and has the opportunity to do so in four straight matches for the first time in club history. What's been the key to 
you know, generating so much output on the offensive end lately? Uh, just confidence in our in our style and our ability. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think there was a lack of chances um, in previous games or throughout the season. Um, and it's just about finishing those chances. Uh, we've put in a lot of work uh, post training, extra extra finishing from everybody, and um, and yeah, I mean, it's just about belief. And, and even though we weren't scoring so many goals, we had the chances beforehand, and it was just um, confidence in that, and then finishing off when we had the chance. You have another one, Chris? If, um, and, and Keaton, anything, I know, you know, we've got a long body of work behind us now and, and uh, coming into the playoffs, you know, is, do you see anything that the club still kind of needs to tighten the screws on, you know, coming back into the uh, playoffs? Um, it's hard to say. I think we have a young team, uh, and so playoffs is, is a, different, uh, a different part of the season, a different mentality. Um, but I'm very confident in these guys, and, and I think we've, we've shown it in these last stretch of games leading into playoffs. I think we've already been treating these games like playoffs, and um, we want to kill when we can and, and win every opportunity and win these games. And, um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's a similar feel to playoffs already inside the locker room, so we just got to keep it going.